Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTO T331, Bulk Specific Gravity and Density of Compacted Asphalt Mixtures Using Automatic Vacuum Sealing Method. This method is typically used for specimens that absorb more than 2% of water by volume as determined by ASHTO T166. Unplug the water circulator in the water bath. Check for interference with the scale or the way below apparatus. Maintain the temperature of the water bath at 77 plus or minus 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill the water bath to overflowing. Allow the water level to stabilize. If necessary, oven dry the specimen to a constant mass at 125 plus or minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit or vacuum dry according to ASHTO R79. Recently compacted laboratory specimens that have not been exposed to moisture do not require drying. Cool the specimen to 77 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove any tack coats, bound rock, soil, or paper. If sharp point or edges are present, remove them by gently filing to prevent bag punctures. Brush the specimen to remove loose particles. Zero the scale and weigh the dry specimen. Record the initial dry mass, A, of the specimen in air. Remove the specimen from the scale. Inspect a vacuum bag for holes and irregularities, then place it on the scale platform and record its mass. Add the initial mass of the specimen and the bag mass together to obtain the mass of the sealed specimen. Place the vacuum bag inside the vacuum chamber on top of the sliding plate. Turn the smoothest side of the specimen down, open the bag, and insert the specimen. Make sure the specimen is resting on the sliding plate. Pull the bag edges forward, smooth out any wrinkles found in the bag, and overlap the seal bar by at least one inch. Close the lid and engage the latch to start the vacuum sequence. Wait during the sealing process. When sealing is complete, remove the latch and the vacuum chamber will open. Inspect the sealed specimen for loose areas. If any are found, open the bag and repeat the sealing process with a new bag. Within one minute, zero the scale and submerge the sealed specimen in the water bath. Completely submerge the bag and secure it on the way below apparatus. Do not allow the bag to touch the sides of the water bath and ensure no trapped air exists under the specimen or in the creases of the bag. Allow the water level and scale reading to stabilize. As soon as possible, record the submerged mass E of the sealed specimen. Remove the specimen from the water bath. Cut open the bag and remove the specimen without getting the specimen wet. Zero the scale and record the final mass of the specimen in air, C. The initial dry mass of the specimen in air must be within plus or minus 5 grams of the final mass of the specimen in air for the results to be accurate. If more than a 0.08% loss or 0.04% gain in weight occurs, discard the results, dry the specimen, and repeat the test. Obtain the bag correction factor or formula from the manufacturer. Calculate the bulk specific gravity according to ASHTO T331 and report to three decimal places. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.